What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we're playing in just a uh, just a high elo normal game as AP Kogma in the mid lane. And I'm saying high elo because I queued up with a bunch of like high diamond one friends and whatnot. So and I lol came this game out of curiosity. And I think the lowest on the team is like a plat five, but two of them are diamond ones and the other ones are like high platinums and whatnot. So it's a relatively high elo one. Um, overall. So it should be you know, it should be relatively high skill level in this game as opposed to, you know, playing in a game of bronzes and silvers. So, uh, I think, I, I think that I'm going to be against a Soraka mid. It'll either be Soraka or Galio, and I was thinking Soraka because, you know, Galio is teleporting, and that's usually more of a top lane thing. But at the same time, it could be Battle Raka, and she could be going top lane. So, who knows. Anyways, um, one thing real fast, just uh, as far as rank game goes, uh, I did get my Smurf to the plat or the Platinum Elo. He is now Platinum Five. Uh, that was actually relatively easy to get to after I stopped doing with some of my lower friends. Uh, no offense to anyone who maybe knows I might be referring to them because they have thrown quite a few games on top of my head. But that is okay. Uh, no, no hard feelings. Um, and on that account, I do have a relatively high MMR as well. So that should. Um, Meaning that I get matched up with higher people than my division. Um, like from my promotion series games, I was in low diamond, high platinum games. So, um, I planned on recording on that because I actually do feel less pressure when I'm playing on that account in ranked. Um, obviously I still want to win and I'll still try my best, but I just in general feel less pressure. And I was right, I am against the Soraka mid. And this is one of the two diamond ones, so hopefully it won't be too bad for me. I may get, you know, horribly fucked because Soraka's silence is super duper hella broken. Um, but we'll find out. Getting a lot of auto attacks off on her and... Well, not a lot. I got like two off on her. And she can just freaking cast that and fuse on me constantly. Because it costs no mana to her, goddammit. So, that's going to be hecka crazy annoying and OP. So, I'm just going to try and keep my distance. Uh, and as Kogma, I am very easy to gank, just gonna get both of those mains real fast with my E. And... Actually, I've already missed two minions, I believe, so... That kinda sucks. And I got my W second, so I could try and hit things from a bit further away. That way I would be a bit safer from her and Fuse. Cause she is fucking me up. She is running... A lot of physical damage, too. So her auto attacks, her bananas are doing a massive amount of damage as well. Um, as I noticed when they were chunking me horribly, so, you know, this could be, this could be a pretty embarrassing game for me to upload, which I think a lot of you guys would probably enjoy and make fun of me for, so I may do that just so you guys can watch me get totally fucked one game, looks like Vi is over there, and this could be a fight that we don't really want, but I will still run over there and try and assist my Riven in getting out, so I'm going to... Pop a potion real fast, and Soraka is having her way with me with this goddamn silence, because it takes no mana for her to use that, and it's really, uh, really difficult for me to run up and do much. Let's just go ahead and get a slow off on her, see if we can do much, which won't really matter, because she'll just heal herself. Um, so I'm really going to need to just stay in the back and try and farm a little bit until I'm six and can hit her from far, far away. So that should be my only chance. Usually when I play in way higher elo games, and great job getting first blood in the top lane. But usually when I play in these higher elo games, uh, if I know I'm getting outclassed or going to get outplayed if I try and make the plays, I usually just play very, very safe um, and try and assist where I can. Will this be two kills? No, it will not. They will not go for that. And I'm just going to pick up a second Doran's ring and a fuck ton of potions because that'll be my only chance at living uh, and potentially doing anything. And since it's Soraka, she can just use her Star Call and really push the lane really fast while I'm gone. Um, as far as I can think of, Soraka isn't a great mid laner, but she does function well against some people, like early game Kogma, um, where they can't really do much to her uh, overall for a little while. So. If you guys ever do want to try uh, Soraka mid, I have tried it before. It's really, really fun and really funny to play. But be wary of some matchups where um, where silencing doesn't really matter. Because 
you know, when you're against someone that doesn't really get affected by silences, that's when you get really, really fucked up. Or someone that just straight up outranges you. Like, for a while, I'm not going to be able to outrange that Soraka very hard. So that's kind of what we got to count on. She picked up a tier first, so she could get that stacking pronto. I mean, she'll probably be using her star call a lot more to try and, um, try and push and get that stacked. And we'll see. Let's see. We got Riven coming in for a gank, possibly. Pinging, ping me with that danger thing. Looks like she's going in right there. The stun coming out. Will this be a flash? The slow coming out, and that will be... Oh, there goes her flash and her barrier. Now let's just see if I can, uh... I probably shouldn't stay too near her, because I might get hurt, and that will... Oh! 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 That could have been a kill for me. But, at least Vi in the bot lane right now, I know that I'm safe for a little while, and if I can hit her with another E, how much HP does she have? Yep. No, will not hit her with that, so I will not pick up the kill. Um, she could be trying to bait me, and now I'm 6, but she is 6 as well, so she could very easily heal bait me, and I need to be careful because top lane is dead, never mind, don't need to be careful. Um, <laughs> and it looks like at least, you know, I'm not feeding, uh, but I'm not winning my lane by any stretch of the imagination. So for now, we're not doing too bad. Now let's go ahead and drop an ultimate there, we'll smack her in the face for a big chunk of her health. And when you're playing AP Kog'Ma, um, you do need to keep an eye on your alt stacks. So let's go ahead and just try and pick up a kill here. I'm not actually going to go for that. I could. Now let's see. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> she stepped back just a bit too far. And that will be the E for the kill for me. And I will be able to go back and pick up my chalice real fast. Which should really, really help with my mana problems. That was kind of an embarrassing miss on my ultimate. But getting that kill was too huge, and actually she's not har harassing me near as much anymore, so this is good. Uh, we are in a much better position. That Riven gank helped massively for me. That did wonders for me. And picking up a kill will definitely help out quite a lot in this lane. Um, and our blue did just come up, so that's something that Riven might need to take herself since she's really far behind right now. Which, well actually it's just because she's not farming very much. She's trying to gank a lot, so she's behind on experience right now. So if she wants to take that blue for herself, I would totally understand. I would totally not be opposed to letting her have it. Now let's see if I can get some good damage off on her. Let's see. There we go. Getting uh, getting some big hits off on her. I'm going to get some potions popping because, you know, she'll just heal herself. And Let's see. There we go. Good trade. Good trade. It's like Riven coming in. That was pretty clearly worded, I think. Um, yep. Uh-oh. She didn't fall for that at all. A lot of people... <laughs> A lot of people usually do fall for that little trick when I do it on Kog'Ma. Uh, I act like I'm trying to slow them and I just corral them a little bit with, um, through the use of my other abilities. Oh god, Vi's here. Hello Vi. <laughs> that was, that was almost a really successful bait on their part. That almost worked on me. I need to wait for uh, some mana though. It looks like, oh, Galio's here too? What the hell? Why is everyone here, guys? Please. I do. Oh, oh god, oh god, he's coming in. Let's see, oh god. <laughs> that damage, I do even more now. <laughs> he just came flying in in that Valor form. We'll pick up the kill onto, onto my Soraka, and I will be able to push this wave out, hopefully without missing too much of the CS. I'll go ahead and just ultimate that wave, and then I'll cue this dude to make sure I get him, and I'll go back. Pick myself up the, uh, the, uh, the amplifying tome and then some potions. And I do find the Athenes is a very, 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 very extremely strong item on AP Kog'Maw. Um, because of, you know, of course all the AP and mana regen, but also the 20% CDR is very huge on him. Um, it helps out a lot more than a lot of people might give it credit for. Because, you know, the lower your cooldown is, it does affect your living artillery, obviously, when that is lower. And, um, well, actually, I won't, I won't bullshit you guys at all. The main reason it's really good is because of the mana regen. So let's go ahead and just, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, I'm not strong enough for this. Baby, come on. Oh, damn it. All right, let's see. We are out leveling her now, which is good. Let's go ahead and knock an ultimate hit off on her there. And yep, there we go. There's some good damage off on her. And let's see if we can do this here. And this will be uh, the ultimate going to land right there. And that will be the other kill. 
picking up two kills on this uh, on this business right here. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm dead. I'm not even gonna try and flash. Cause if I tried to flash, Vi would have um, just ulted me then. So it would have been a total waste of my flash if I had used it. So that is the death for me. Vi coming in from over here. So that is just a darn shame. Just just a darn shame. No ult on Vi. Might as well let my team know that. Um, hopefully that that can serve them well. And let's back up the Fiendish Codex for some of that uh, CDR. Looks like Riven going for a kill here. Maybe? Will she get it? Oh, the Soraka heal! With the save! What a well-timed Soraka heal, too. That was very well done on her part. Anyways, first death of the game, not a big deal. Uh, my low farm, kind of a big deal. But at least I'm still not super duper too mega far behind uh, the Soraka. It looks like Riven going here, going in here, and let's see the flash coming out, and that will be the end of that gank. So, no summoners on Soraka here. Um, can possibly do something, and let's go ahead and, oh, almost hit her with that. She almost ran into it, and fuck. And this is, this is full of fuck. I don't have any boots, and she has freaking Merc Treads. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. There we go. Getting some good damage off under those still. Let's see, does Riven, Riven kinda, Riven's kinda looking like she wants to dive. So, oh, Riven probably shouldn't want to dive. And, damn, not another hit off. And I'm not spamming my ult as much as I normally would as AP Kabuma right now. Uh, usually, you would want to spam like 24-7 with your ultimate whenever you have mana available. Um, oh, there's another good hit. Let's go ahead and drop one right behind her. And that will not be a kill. Vi over here, though. Um, gotta just kinda watch myself. And just gonna clear this wave real fast. Oh, never mind. I do have the AP to just clear that with one Voidus. So that's good for me. Let's see. Soraka. I think she just dropped a ward, but I wasn't paying attention. She may or may not have. Let's drop that there. Will be another hit off on her. Will be a direct hit with the ultimate. And this will be potentially not a kill. Uh, oh, mm, that was horribly far off. I'm flashing. And that will be... Whoop, uh-oh, uh-oh, whoop, 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 no, oh, she is going to kill herself, and uh-oh, no, no, ah, oh, the wind slash coming out, and I did not dodge anything, but still picking up the kill, and still gain, actually, I don't think, yeah, I didn't get an assist, because I have zero assists, so no assist on that Soraka kill for me, but at least Riven pushing out the lane when the jungler and the mid lane are dead, so she will be able to get some lane experience and farm, and get some damage off on this tower. So that's good for her. Picking up my things as well will be a very good pickup for me. Now let me take a drink real fast. My throat's really, really dry. Ah, I know you guys love the sound of that. The sound of thirst being quenched. Such a beautiful feeling. But let's see, it looks like there was a two for one in the bot lane. Uh, our AD carry died, but our support lived. So good for them. Still came out on top of that. And looks like all around the map, people are doing pretty well overall. Soraka 1-0-5, me 3-2-0. Not spectacular, but at least I'm not feeding in super losing lane. So that's the good news we can take out of this. Go ahead and try and get some more farm. Because I am, you know, as you guys can tell, horribly lacking. As I've mentioned a few times before. But I should be able to just clear the waves now. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and ping the Soraka's missing. Because those nasty Soraka roams can can and will get you. And after I'm level 11, my ultimate's range will go up by quite a lot. I'll be able to get, um... Hopefully get more sniping potential off with it. And after I get the blue, that will also help a lot. Looks well, like Valor Mode going down here. Let's see what's going down. Looks well, like going to dash over the wall and the Soraga ultimate will come out. Vi coming in too. The Assault and Battery bringing him down. And let's see, going to get the defensive thingy off on her. And let's drop that there. We'll hit her with that actually. And yeah, let's just chase her out. She ain't, she ain't gonna, she ain't gonna do that. She a hoe. She a hoe. You a hoe. You a hoe. You a hoe. Got that ignite off on her, and this will be. Oh, there's the kill. You a silly, silly, silly hoe, Soraka. You a silly hoe. But that will be another kill for me because she ain't going to be able to fuck with this, and we will get this mid tower. So that will help. Never mind, Galio here. Looks like. Oh. 
Oh, Galio with the beautiful, beautiful ultimates. Not catching either of us. And that maybe, maybe top tower. But it looks like we're not taking mid tower just yet. Um, unless I will it to be so, truly, truly will it to be so. And I do, as a matter of fact. I would really like to take this. So I'm going to clear that wave. And I will pop my W and get this tower and skilly do wop out on out of here. And that will be the tower down. I should have waited for the last hit so I can get more money. Olaf picking up the top tower as well, like I thought he would. And since he has no ultimate, there is no way that Olaf will be destroyed in this duel. And let's go over here and pick up... Uh, there we go. Picking it up with the ultimate. TY. Going to go back and grab Sorcerer's Shoes, because now I'll be able to run a bit faster and definitely... Definitely... Um do some more damage with that magic pen so now we can move faster got that blue buff can spam our ultimate more um we can do a lot of things a lot better now as we try and get more money in this game of the league of legends and actually you know i don't feel as bad about my farm when i realize i'm not really far behind anyone on my team so even though i should feel bad about the low number i don't feel too bad because you know i'm right on par with my teammates so that's that's a good that's that that's a that's one singular good um. Oh, there's a good da go bit of damage off on her there. Now let's go ahead and go for another one. Not going to catch it. Going to wait for that debuff to fall off because it's costing a lot of mana right now to use that. There we go. Now the debuff fell off. I can, in fact, use my ultimate again at a very low mana cost of 40. But when you have four stacks, it costs like freaking 160, and that is just you know that is just not okay. That is just no bueno. So they should be careful because mid lane is pretty gone. Let's see if I can... Eh. Ah, damn. I was kind of hoping I could jack that from her, but she stopped attacking it like a really smart lady she is. And... Boop! No! No, no, no. No, 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 no. Alright, I need to get down here and try and help, because... Oh! Uh-oh. Can I help the Sorak ultimates coming out? But, maybe? Nope. Uh-oh. Uh oh, I shouldn't have done this. This was this was a mistake. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. Let me flash! Let me flash! Oh, help me! No! Come here, blitz crank! This was a big mistake. I made a big mistake. Oh god! All right, let's pick up this blasting wand here, and see if we can get some AP. Cause I really do need um. Need to get some AP in here. Going to definitely go for that, uh, that, this thing. The Rabadon's Death Cap. See, for whatever reason, I have a really hard time with names. I can visualize things as I say them, but I still will always have a hard time with names. It looks like Riven just going to get dove. Uh, will not die, but taking a lot of damage. And let's see. Our Quinn looks like she's still doing well, but she could be doing a little better. Um, because she was really fed. But she's starting to be a goof a little bit, it seems, but I have faith. I have faith. We'll bring it back. Well, actually, we're not down. We'll just we'll just get himself, you know, back up. But that'll be 4 CS for me under my belt. And actually, still not falling too far behind Soraka, so that's, that's good. And... Oh, Olaf. Oh, Olaf. Oh, Olaf. Olaf. I don't know why I keep saying that. I'm trying to say it how I, like, imagine it. So let's go ahead and... Oh yeah, baby! There we go, getting some good damage off here, and let's see if I can... There is one kill! Go ahead and pick this up, go ahead and drop the Ignite, and that will be two kills for the AP Kog'Maw. Getting that double kill, and will be... Will be some good money under my belt. Getting that shutdown gold on her, too. And also picking up a blue buff, because, you know, I died with it. So, blue buff is always good. I died... Did I die to Galio? Rip, pop. Oh. What? That one I feel like should have hit. I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna make that noise every time, but it's a very addicting noise for me to make. So, rip, pop. Yeah! Hitting Soraka! There we go. Getting a little too excited about that hit. But let's go ahead and run up here. Hit each of these goons. Goons, uh good twice get all those minions cleared and it looks like Riven's pushing bot Olaf going back up top we do not have a lot of vision around but we've got enough for me to you know 
do my mess around with my antics. There we go, get some damage off on him. And not going to land that one. And not going to land that one. I'm poor piss as hell. Uh, how much money do I have? Is that 1,200? That is 1,200. Well, 1,300 almost. Um, it looks like they want to try and do this dragon. So I can agree to that. And as AP Kogma, let me start explaining team fighting real fast because that is a very, very important phase of AP Kogma. Um, you are not designed to always sit there and try and do a ton of damage um, with your autos by any means. You are designed to be a long range artillery machine and we're really lucky that we got that dragon actually because we probably should have not got that but that's okay. That's okay. But what you do is you sit just about as far back as you goddamn possibly can and you just sit there and launch your skills out. That's all you do in these fights because if you're doing anything else you're probably gonna get yourself killed. Uh, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to pick up the needlessly large rod giving myself a boost of 80 AP. I think mid tower may be going down he might be in trouble so he needs to dip on out of there oh yeah he's got four people running towards him so he needs to really skedaddle if he wants to get out of there with his life. Looks like Riven wants to give me this blue. Oh, wall hopping Riven. Oh, wall hopping Riven. I love you. <sighs> and I'll just come over here and snatch that right out of her paws. And TY, give her the little exclamation point too so she knows I'm really, really excited about it. And I need to farm up to 16 so I can get all that Monet. Or not Monet, that sniping range. Now let's see if I can get this. Yep. Mine! Yeah! Give me that, bitch! <laughs> give me that! Give me that! Give me your... Oh, you didn't, you didn't get hit by that one. But give me, give me your wraith. Come on, yeah. Huh. Huh. Let me just spam all my abilities, because I have a blue. And I can afford to miss them. Yeah, you want that CS? You're going to take a bit of damage for it. What's that? You want more CS? Oh, you ain't going to take damage for it. What's that? You want that one? Oh, it looks like... Oh, shoot. Whoa! What the... What the... What the porpoise? Alright, dropping that slow down there and let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, you are McBoned to the max. And let's go ahead and try and get out of here. The slow coming out will hit... Oh, God, I hit all four of them with that one. Good slow, me. Thanks, me. Great job, me. You're awesome. Thanks, me. You're great. Alright, let's go ahead. Keep this up. Clear that wave. Uh, whoa, baby. Slow down there, girl. What's happening? And let's... Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, avoid ooze. Don't know if I hit anybody with that. Ow. He disguised it. He disguised it ever so well. Yep. Bop. Oh, getting the hit off on the blitz crank. Oh, getting hit off on some minions. Oh, we are probably going to lose this tower. And by probably, I mean we just lost the tower. And I need to go. Oh, God, I'm done for. I'm done for. Let's see if the suicide bomber can stay right in the middle of them. Doing a bunch of damage, but will not be enough. And I did not see that flash ultimate coming. Looks like our freaking Quinn going ham. Will she be able to pick them all up? Let's see it. Come on, dude. Let's see it. And he will not be able to get any of them, actually. The Vault coming out to actually launch himself the opposite direction. But three people low will not kill a single one. And let's go ahead and sell a Doran's Ring for the uh, Rabidons. Very worth. Now let's see. Oh, the kill coming out onto... Just the Vi and the Olaf. Never mind. I was hoping that he would go like super mega death hard and just destroy everyone, but it was not meant to be. So, that kind of stinks. Uh, I may actually pick up a Morella and Amakon this game for more mana regen and. Wait, does it still have mana regen? I don't remember if they've changed it. I haven't gotten it in so long. Yeah, mana regen, CDR, and the Grievous Wounds because they have a lot of healing on their team between uh, Soraka and Galio. So. It may be it may be worth picking up. I'm gonna go ahead and step on these traps just in just, you know, try and make sure my buddies don't step on them later. Cause that would for pretty obvious reasons be bad for us to step on traps. But as I said, the Merlinomicon may prove to be a useful item. So we may get it. Looks like Riven. Oh the Sorak ultimates, but the wind slash will miss. Will this be still a kill? It looks like Oh, the Galley Ultimates coming out will be the kill for the kill. Quite the duel, and but it was not enough. Well, let's go ahead and just push this top lane in. Their blue might be up, and if it is, in fact, I would like to see if I can grab that. Um, let's just run up here though. Kill this wave. Boop, boop. There we go. And with a bit more AP under AP Kogma's belt, you are able to 
kill waves so fast that it is redonkulous. And actually their blue is not up, but that blitz has a blue. So it is my non-stop goal now to kill this blitz. So I'm just going to sit here where I'm you know where I feel relatively safe. And up oh, that will be a slow off on there. Come on! Come on! No! 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 I didn't get the kill! Uh, uh, I didn't get the kill, son of a bitch! This sucks! I hate everything. I don't hate everything. I'm not that kind of person. But I am a little, a uh, little, little sad that I didn't get that blue. So, just gonna go on with my day. It looks like, looks like they may be going for this guy. Position myself so I'm way, 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 way far away from any of them. And we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a ward over that wall. And let's see. Not in range to stop that Sorak from backing. Yep, not going to stop her, definitely. And yep, just drop that straight down the mid lane. And whoa, what in tarnation is she doing? Up, oh, whoa, that will be the kill with my auto attack. Nice. And that will be a bunch of damage off on her. The blind actually coming out. Oh god, they have a lot of reinforcements coming. Yep, be careful, friend. Be careful, friend. Uh, 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 yeah, I'm picking up another kill. And I am using, oh god, I'm using so much mana right now. Gonna have to back off that throttle for a little bit. The Galley Ultimate coming out. Let's go ahead and try and do a bunch of damage to her. And this will be, oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot, never mind. Yep. Not gonna hit that one. Let's see if I can, oh god. Oh god, slow down for a second there, buddy. I wanna get out of this one with my life. Please don't dive me. Alright, he's not diving me. He is totally diving me. Knock it off. Knock it off, you fucking jerk. Oh, come on. Yeah, there's one kill. Come on. Come here. Come here. Ye no, Barry, I fucking hate you. Oh, god damn it. Avenge me, Riven. Come on, baby. I know you want... Oh. Oh. Oh, Riven. Oh, barely going over that. All right, still picked up a kill, though. So, not too bad. Um, very close to having the Merlin Omicron, actually. So I could potentially get that, but at the same time, I could also just not. Um, and I could go for something like a Void Staff. Are they building a lot of MR? Well, it's like, Riven? Oh, God, Riven. Not getting the kill. Wait, maybe? Nope. The Broken Wing's not going to happen. Wait! There's still a chance. The exhaust coming out, but Galio coming out. It was like, whoop, there's Soraka. Is she going? Oh, oh, here it is. No, she will not die. Nice. Uh, and let's go back to what I was looking at. Okay, yeah. They have some MR. It will be worth me getting a Void Staff. So I'll pick that up. And then I will also go for... I'll end up probably going for the Morella Namacon because I'm not getting anything else with CDR that I can think of right now. So it may be really good for me to get... Oh, that Assault and Battery not going to have any effect on that Olaf other than a bit of damage. Because he did have his Ragnarok up. Looks like our Quinn going in. Doing a bunch of damage, but... Uh, it does not look like this is appearing to be the smart choice. Um... But that's a-okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god, they had vision of me. Oh god, this sucks. This sucks. Yeah, no! Come on. Fuck. Fuck. No! God damn it! Why are my freaking passives not killing anybody? God, she was so low! <laughs> ah. Alright, well, note to file, they had that bush warded. Um, really, really sad that... Didn't get a passive kill again there. That's depressing. That's really depressing. I was trying to take a drink and I just spilled a bunch of water on my shirt. So I'm I'm a little sad. I'm actually a little sad. I'm a little chilly now. But you know, can't let these little petty things such as being cold bother me. Can't let things like that really get under my skin. Oh, baby, maybe I can get a blue buff. That'll make everything okay. So if I can have that blue, oof. That'll make me so moist. Come on. Oh, it's still there. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, motherfucking yes. T.Y., baby. How much does my Q do? 260 plus 299. Not too shabby. And, okay, it's just you guys. That's okay. All right. There we go, just vomit all over them. Valkyrie that way. Looks like Quinn going in with the vault. And the blind coming out. Valormo going in. 
The Galio Ultimate's coming out, and I need- Oh my god, is that an AP Blitzcrank I smell? It could very potentially be, and let's see if I can just lay down the law here. And I am not going to try- Oh, gee, many Christmas. Oh, lordy, lordy. Oh, lordy, lordy. Come on. Come on. Yes, yes. One. No. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Damn it. All right, come on. No, Soraka's not going to die. Um... Man, I really don't know what we're doing anymore, but I got a Void Staff, so it's okay. And I was hoping I would get two kills out of that, but I only got one. Darn shame. Lost my blue buff. Uh, Galio has it. But with my newly acquired Void Staff, I should be able to get that back. Well, let's go ahead and pick up an Amplifying Tone for the Morello and Namekan. And then... Actually, I probably shouldn't get the Morello and Namekan. Probably not worth... Um, I kind of really do want more AP, so I'm probably going to go for large AP items. I'll probably get Zonia's off of this Amplifying Tome, and then think about what I want to do from there. What other items have CDR? I mean, let's be real. The Morella Namicon doesn't give a tiny amount of CDR, or a mana AP, I'm trying to say. Jeez. But it is still less than some of the other items. Oh, it may be worth getting still. It may be. Gain that in a Zonia's. Could be, could be really good. Could be really good. That would put me at around, what, like, close to 700 AP, right? That could, that wouldn't be bad. I'm not going to hit her with that. So and see. Oh, I will hit her with that one. That's good. And I am taking a lot of damage right there. Good thing we have a Soraka. And I'm just going to back off the throttle with those R's for just a second. And I'll go ahead and drop that. Clear some minions. And, oh god, Blitz. Let's see. Oh, what the hell? Galio's 14 and 3? Well, I guess he is the high diamond one player of their team. So I'm not too surprised that he's doing well. Uh, oh, there we go. Good hit off on that blitz. That will be you know, a bit of decent damage there. I'm going to go ahead and drop my trinket there. You should be careful, friend. You should probably not be there. And I should probably... Oh, God. I shouldn't be here. Looks like... Oh, they missed the bush. Save me. Save me. Save me. Save me, save me, save me, Glargle, 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 oh, oh no, no, what are you doing? Why are you doing this to me, Vi? Gar, 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 I was really in a bad situation standing right here. Ah, damn it. Because if I went this way, I would have been grabbed. If I went this way, I was really hoping I'd just be able to get out of there in time. But the slows from the Soraka are just too real. And they are just too much for me to be able to handle. But, hopefully, we can still do things. Um, that Vi flashed over this wall and just went straight from me with that ultimate. Not a bad idea, but at the same time, that was really what the hell you're mean. Um, but that's okay. They will get the bot inhibitor. This game is looking a little dim for us right now. Uh... <laughs> Not sure, not sure what Olaf was doing over there, but that is that is a okay. I can't really talk because I was over here when they were clearly collapsing on us. So I am obviously in no position to speak myself. Um, but really, I mean, the good news is I'm close to 16, so I'll be able to do stuff, do stuff and things, and pop that mana barrier. Oh baby, and let's go ahead and just keep this up. Looks like oh the kills coming out there. And now I got that level 3 ultimate. And let's see, Riven wanting to do something. Maybe we can do? Nope. Oh, getting the big hit of damage off on her. And that will be another big hit off on her. There we go. There's two-thirds of your freaking health. Get out of here, Caitlyn. And let's see if I can get you, girl. Mm. You're not here. Mmm, where'd you go? Mmm, mm, maybe. Oh, the vault over the wall! And let's see. No, it will not happen. And, oh no, someone won't be able to block it. Uh-oh. 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 All right, let's shred your resistances. And no, will not be able to get the slow coming out. And I just stacked my ignite with his. And that is not good. Come on. Yeah, getting that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Soraka, the real terror is here. Soraka, no. Soraka, please. Soraka, stop. Soraka, stop your heels. Get me out of- Oh, Vi, why? Why do you hate me? Alright, come on, baby. Let me just- There we go. Alright, Olaf, get him. Get him, La Tigre. 
Alright, no ultimate? No, no. There's the ultimate. A little late, but there's the ultimate. Damn. Damn. Alright, let's pick him needlessly large rod. Um, with that shutdown goal, we got some money. It looks like the base may be in a little trouble, but that's not really any of my concern right now. I'm, I'm more of a bloodthirsty animal, and apparently so is our Quinn, but, uh, okay. And just like the flock of seagulls, they have gone down to the ground. Alrighty. Maybe. Alright, Riven, you're up. Go get him, Tigre. La Tigre. I will be joining you here in a moment. Go get him, Riven. Come on. Get him. Oh, there she's going! She is going, and she will flash in nothing. Alright, let's see. My turn. My turn. Come on. Come on. Yes. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. No! No! <laughs> Not going to get the Caitlyn, and that will be the end of that game. At least it's still ended positive. You know, I'm pretty much a gangster right now for ending positive in that game. I think I ended like 11 and 10 or something. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and favorite it, it me out. Uh, if you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All three links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!